Hey there, this is Kamal and in this video, we're going to see how we can add a dark mode to any website using just CSS and a little bit of jQuery. So let's get this started. All right, so I have my project open here and in this, I have three main files. The first one is the index.html and I also have style.css and main.js, which are currently empty. So inside the index page, I have some bootstrap linking. So I have linked to the bootstrap API and also have linked to the font awesome as well, since we're going to use the font awesome icon. And I have linked to the style sheet that I've created as well, that is style.css and also to main.js, that is the JavaScript file. And in the body, I have added some dummy content. So I have a container here. So in the container, I have the H1 and an icon. So let's save this and let's open this with the live server and see what we have. So let's click on that. Okay, so this is what we have. So we have a heading, we have an icon and we have a card which is taken from Bootstrap with some dummy data. Okay, so now let's stylize this. So let's go to the style.css and the trick to actually using the dark theme or the light theme is that we have to actually use variables which are present inside of CSS. So instead of directly typing the color that we want directly, we're going to use variables throughout our website so that when we change the variable value itself, automatically wherever that variable is being used, that value will be changed with the new one that we provide. So what I mean is that let's first create a root element. So the syntax for creating a root element is colon root and then brackets. So inside this, we're going to first create the variables that we're going to use. So the syntax for creating a variable is two hyphens, then the variable name. And in this case, it's going to be light Then the color that we're going to use. So the color that I'm going to use is this. And also let's create another variable called as dark. Okay, so let's save that as well. So now what you're going to do is that we're going to use these variables and stylize the whole page. So I'm going to take the HTML and the body and I'm going to add a background color to this. So let's add a background color. And the way that we actually utilize these variables is that we're going to type in var which symbolizes variables. And in here, let's type in the variable that we're going to use. So since the background is going to be dark color, we're going to type in dark. So that's the variable that we had created. Similarly, let's add a color property as well. And this time it's going to be light. So let's save that and go to the browser. And there's what we have. So there are some changes that we need to do for some elements. But apart from that, everything is fine. So let's go to the style.css once again. And in here, what we're going to do is that we're going to first create some classes. So the first class is going to be light. And in here, I'm going to type in the color property. And the value is going to be the variable that is light. Similarly, let's add another color or another property called as dark. And for this, the color property is going to be dark. Similarly, let's do the same thing, but this time let's use the background property instead of the color property. Okay, so I have created four classes here. The first one is the light dark. The third one is light underscore BG and the fourth one is dark underscore BG. So these have color properties and the background color properties. So what these are going to do is that whenever we need a particular color that is light or dark, we don't need to actually take that element from here and add that particular property to it. Instead, we can just type in this particular class wherever we need that property to be applied and that will be applied. Okay. So let's say for example, we're going to use this dark property, which is going to have a color, which is dark color. And let's add that to this card body. Okay, so let's add that here. And if you save that and go to the browser, as you can see here, automatically the text has been darkened. Okay, so similarly, we can add these classes wherever we need that light color and the dark color for the text or for the background. Okay, so we can do that. And the main benefit of using these is that since we're using the variables for this light and dark, automatically if we change the root element, that is the root variable that is the light and dark color automatically these things will change as well. And that means the color that we have for this text as well will change. So that's what we're going to use to actually inverse the colors. Okay. So now let's stylize this read more button as well. So we have a class for this read more called as read more. Okay. So let's copy that and the style section, let's add some properties. So let me quickly do that.
Okay, so I have added the two classes here. The first one is the read more. And for this, I have the color property, which is light. The background is going to be dark and it has a bit of padding and also some border and a radius to it as well. And also I have removed the text decoration, which is there by default. And I have used the important keyword. That is because this has to override the default properties. And apart from that, I have also added the hover properties. And whenever we hover over it, the background is going to change from dark to transparent. And the color is going to change from light to dark. And there's going to be a transition between this normal and the hover property that is going to be 0.5 second and the property is ease. So let's save that and go to the browser. And if you hover over this, this is what's going to happen. Okay, so now let's add the switch. So whenever we click on this icon here, automatically the colors have to be reversed. Okay, so let's do this. So let's go here and below the root element, let's type in HTML. And for this HTML, we have a property called as data theme. And this data theme is going to have a value. And let's say the value is light. And what you're going to do is that in here, let's reverse the colors. Okay, so let's take these two variables that we have from here. Let's paste it here and let's reverse this. Okay, so let's change this from light to dark and this from dark to light. So the colors have reversed here. So the dark is light color and the light variable has a dark color. So now what happens is that if the HTML has a property called as data theme and if that property is equal to light value, automatically the colors will be changed. That is reversed. So in order to implement this, we're going to go to the index page and let's scroll to the top. And here where we have the HTML tag there after the language, let's add the property data theme. And for this, let's give the property as light and let's save that and go to the browser. And as you can see here, the colors have reversed. And one other thing is that, as you can see here, even though colors have reversed, the background has remained the same white color. So we have to change that as well. So let's go to the index page. And in here, where we're given the dark color, let's give a light background to it. Okay, so let's save that and go to the browser. So now we have a darker background with a light color and the same property have been applied to this button as well. So now if I remove this light from here, and let's say if I give it something else like dark, then automatically the colors will change back to default. It doesn't matter what you give here, it will remain the same. But if you give it as light, then the colors will reflect with the opposite that we have given. Okay, so it's going to change from normal to this colors that we have here. Okay, and wherever these variables are being used, automatically those values will be replaced with the new values as well. So that's how you replace the colors. Now, since this is a bit problematic as we have to go to this index page each and every time that we want to make this change, what we can do is that we can link this particular property with this icon. So whenever we click on this icon, automatically this data theme attribute value has to change. Okay. So for that, we're going to use jQuery. And since we're using bootstrap, we already have jQuery linked to it. So we don't need to actually input it once again. So let's go to the main.js and let's start writing the code. Okay, so I'm assuming that you already have a basic idea of jQuery. So if you don't have an idea, you can implement the same thing in vanilla JavaScript as well. Okay, so the logic that we're going to use is that whenever this button or this icon is clicked, automatically this attribute has to change. Okay, so the way that we do that is first we're going to add a property to this i. So let's add a class to this and the class is going to be theme icon. Okay. So now inside the main.js, let's take that particular element. So whenever we click on this theme icon, a particular function has to be executed. And that function is that Okay, so what we're actually doing here is that whenever we click on this theme icon, automatically this function has to be executed. And in the function, we're saying that if this theme icon has a property called as FA Sun associated with it, you have to remove that. If it is not there, then you have to add it. That is what toggle means. Toggle means if that this particular property or this particular class is not there, then add that. If it is already there, then remove that. Okay, that's the same thing for this moon as well. So by default, we have the sun value here, right? 
So we have the sun here. So by default, what's going to happen is that when you click on that icon, automatically the FA sun will be removed and FA moon will be added. But if you click on it the second time, what's going to happen? The second time, FA moon will be removed and FA sun will be added. So now let's save that and go to the browser and check if it's working or not. So if I click on this, as you can see, it has changed from sun to moon. And similarly, if I click on it again, it's going to change from moon to sun. So now let's link this with the HTML attribute that we have, that is the data theme. So what you need to do is that inside this, let's get the current value of the data theme that we have. And let's go to the index page as well. Let's remove this from light and let's type in dark. And it doesn't matter if it's dark or not, since this is going to be affected only if the value is called as light. If not, it's going to remain the same. But let's use it for naming sense. And we have got that and we have taken that value and placed it inside a variable called as current theme. Okay, so we are using the attribute that we have here. Now let's check if Okay, so what we're doing is that we're checking if the current theme value is equal to dark, then automatically change that to light. If not, if it's equal to light, then change that to dark. Yeah, it has to be dark. So now let's save that and go to the browser and refresh it. So now if I click on this, it's going from dark to light. And if I click on this once again, it's going to go from light to dark. So in this way, you can use JavaScript or jQuery to actually change the value of this HTML attribute that is data theme. And by doing so, you can change the color scheme of the whole website. So you can stop it here if that's what you want. So with this, we are done with seeing how we can change the theme, but I'm going to do a bit more and I'm going to change this so that whenever I click on this automatically, there's going to be a little animation so that this is going to change a bit more smoothly. Right now, as you can see, it's a bit rigid, right? So let's change that and make it a bit more smooth with some animation, okay? And that animation is not going to be complex at all. It's going to be a simple flip, okay? We're going to flip this. So we're going to flip this icon and automatically that is going to appear at the same moment that this is flipped, okay? So what we're going to do is that inside the style.css, we're going to create another class. So let's take the theme icon class that we had created. Okay, so what we've done is that we've given a color property to this icon and we've given it as light and the cursor is going to be pointer and we have another property called as transition which is going to have the transform property. So let's leave this particular property for now and apart from that we also have a hover property and for that we have the color that is light yellow. So let's save that and go to the browser and this is what we have. Okay, so now what we want to happen is that when we click on this automatically it has to flip, right? So the way that we do that is going to create another class called as flip. And in here, let's add a property and that is going to be transform. So I have rotated it by 360 degrees. And this is going to be important since we want to overwrite the default property. So this transition is going to make sure that whenever this transform property is being applied, and automatically there's going to be a bit of delay that is 0.5 seconds so it's going to be a bit slower so now let's go to this main.js and here what you're going to do is that let's copy this and for this theme icon instead of adding or removing this fsn or fa moon let's add or remove the flip class as well so if you save that and go to the browser and if you click on this as you can see here, there's a bit of animation, right? So automatically when you click on this, it's rotating and it's also changing to a different icon at the same time. So that's how we actually add a dark theme to any website. So it's not just like you can only add a dark theme, you can add any theme that you want. So what, I've, what we've actually done is that we've used variables to change the theme values, right? So you can have multiple themes here, like you can have multiple icons or multiple buttons, each depending on a single theme. So whenever you click on that, it's going to change the values from the root here to some other value depending on whatever data theme is given here, 
okay so you can have multiple themes as well and one more tip is that so now if i click on this and if i refresh the page as you can see here it's going to revert back to its default values that is dark colors but if you're trying to create a full-blown website then you have to make sure that if a user clicks on this once then whenever that user returns back to this website then that particular theme has to be there by default instead of the one that we have given okay so the way that you actually do that is that we can actually store this theme data inside the cookie storage okay so we have a local browser storage called as cookies right so inside the cookies we're going to store this data theme value so whenever that user tries to access this website once again we're going to take the cookie data from that storage and we're going to check whatever that is there inside that cookie data if that is there as light by default the website will be light version or dark is there then automatically the website has to be a dark version depending on that we're going to change the default of what the user has to see so that's another tip for you so that's it for this video guys i hope you have liked what you've seen till now if you did then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well thanks so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video